partner, stated that he was looking to make a deal to get some young girls and boys for a party in New York. Yo, what it do? It's your boy Buck Breeze. It's the no slacking himself. No slacking involved. That shit is bad for your health. <laughs> Yo, what's good, man? Can I tap in with y'all real quick? Yo, we gonna jump into this shit right here. So, I guess, man, some dude from the Sonola cartel said that he suing Diddy or some shit. Said Diddy fucked his life up. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. We gonna jump into it. You already know time is money, man. We can't get a dollar back. So, we gonna jump into this shit and see what's good. See, see what Diddy doing fucking up cartel niggas' business, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> see what's going on right here. Hurry up. Let's get it. An alleged affiliate of the Sinaloa cartel has filed a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, claiming after trying to solicit the gang for business opportunities, Combs ruined this man's livelihood. We're going to break down these shocking allegations and most importantly, the judge's very firm decision. Welcome to Sidebar, presented by Law & Crime. I'm Jesse Weber. It's great. Shit about to get deep, y'all. We about to find out what the fuck Diddy do the fuck. This dude from the Sonola cartel life up. I don't know how Diddy can mess up a cartel nigga life. I'm surprised they ain't sending I mean, a couple of them dudes at his ass. Anyway, let's see what's good. Another perhaps unexpected development in the Sean Diddy Combs saga we want to talk to you about. This is the hip hop and rap artist and producer is facing multiple lawsuits alleging sex trafficking, assault, rape, and as the reported investigation into human trafficking out of the Southern District of New York continues with a grand jury allegedly being impaneled and hearing evidence, although to be clear, no charges or arrests have been made. While all this is going on, we have a new development for you that I want to talk about. A man named Alfredo P. Gonzalez has filed a defamation action against Combs and Bad Boy Entertainment. And this is out of New York. This is in federal court suing for $666,000 in damages. Very specific there. Defamation, of course, is publishing a false statement against someone that damages or harms their reputation. But there is something to note about Mr. Gonzalez. And that is that he is actually locked up. Yes, he is currently. Hold up. So this dude is suing Diddy from jail for supposedly fucking his life up. You're already in jail, my guy. Oh, so like what? Did he like admit to moving drugs for the cartel and all that shit too? I wonder, this is about to get kind of crazy, huh? Currently incarcerated in the Centennial Correctional Facility out in Colorado. And apparently, <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez alleges that he is a member of the Sinaloa Drug Cartel. This is the cartel that is considered to be one of the oldest drug distribution organizations out in Mexico that it has trafficked everything from marijuana, cocaine, heroin, meth, fentanyl into the United States. This is according to a Congressional Research Service report. I think he might've just hopped on Diddy ass because he's seen all the shit going on. He said, you know what, man? I think I'm gonna have to go get me a piece of that. Everybody suing this Diddy character. I might as well go ahead and jump in the pie and get me a little bit too. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's probably what's going on here. And he seems to be filing this action pro se, meaning he is acting as his own attorney. He's representing himself in this. Hey, so I want to thank Upside. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So a dude from the cartel is acting as his own attorney? This dude's got buku bread, like, I, I guess maybe he read enough books or some shit, I don't know real cash back that can go right into your bank account. So once you have the upside app, you claim an offer. A lot of people be doing that shit right there now, trying to get you to sign up for some shit. Talking about you get all this real cash back and all this shit. They get you no goddamn cash. For whatever you're buying on upside, you pay as usual uh -huh. using a debit or credit card. So the chief United States District Court Judge, Laura. Ah, yeah, we back, we back. Taylor Swain out of the Southern District of New York issued an order that lays out the allegations and the law, and I'm gonna go through it with you. And I won't reveal just yet what the order says, what the judge's decision is, we're gonna get there, but first, let's talk about this. So, the order reads, quote, on or about May 5th, 2021, plaintiff received a telephone call from an unidentified business partner of Combs. The business partner told plaintiff that Combs was, quote, wanting to set up some business deals with the Sinaloa cartel. 
Hold up now. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold the fuck up. This shit might get bad for Diddy. You got a dude from the cartel coming out. Talking about, we haven't finished reading this shit. But all I see is business with the cartel that Diddy wanted to set up. Now, we already know. They're already saying all kinds of shit. That he got business with the cartel, you know, they they sex trafficking and doing all kinds of crazy shit. This might just pinpoint his ass and put him in some deep doo-doo. Oh, man. Plaintiff responded by saying that he was always willing to set up business deals with the rich for drugs. Co oh, shit. <coughs> Ooh, wee. Ooh, yo, listen, man. Diddy about to be in some shit. Diddy about to be in some shit. Combs' business partner stated that he was looking to make a deal to get some young girls and boys for a party in New York while playing. Oh, shit. See? I told you. See? Oh, that boy getting wrapped up. He all set. And if wanted to speak to Combs himself, he told the business partner that such an arrangement could not happen because the cartel did not sex traffic underage kids. The business partner told plaintiff that, Yo, this is fucking crazy. Hold the fuck up. How did I even stumble on this shit right here? I was just looking through and I was like, you know what? Let me just uh, do a little reaction on this shit. Cartel member saying, did he mess his life up? I have no idea this shit was about to get this deep. This is given 100% proof that did he be trafficking young girls. This might be that proof that the FBI have been wanting. They might go holler at homeboy. He probably trying to get some kind of deal off it. with this shit. He probably looking at life or something weird. And they, he probably like, you know what? I got a way out. I know some shit that this nigga was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Monet, the one that's on TV going crazy and shit. You know, yeah, that one. He got some shit for him. Yeah, man. Oh, shit, Diddy. This is bad. This is bad. Bad. Let's go. Hugs. Combs business partner stated that he was looking to make a deal to get some young girls and boys for a party in New York. While plaintiff wanted to speak to Combs himself, he told the business partner that such an arrangement could not happen because the cartel did not sex traffic underage kids. The business partner told plaintiff that he had nothing to worry about. Combs had everything on Lock Street slang for no one can F with us. Plaintiff told the business partner that there was no money in sex trafficking. The business partner then told plaintiff that he was making a big mistake for not taking the offer from Combs. Wow. Wow. So did he try and get the cartel to give him some young kids for sex trafficking? They told him, like, yo, listen, we don't, we don't deal in that area right there. You know what I'm saying? You want some drugs, though? Yeah, we rock with you. That's what we do. But that little young girl shit and all that, we ain't fucking with that. Diddy like, yo, man, what well, Diddy man, like, yo, listen, man, you making a mistake, man. Make some bread in this shit. Like, you're like, nah, ain't no money in that. We don't do that right there. Like, this is crazy, man. This is this is this is wild right here. Diddy gonna have some answering to do to this shit. And the call ended without an agreement. Okay, let's stop right there before we even move on. That's crazy. On one hand, for anybody who's been following our coverage here on Sidebar, who's been following what's been going on with Sean Diddy Combs, this in many ways fits with the narrative that we have heard already in other lawsuits against Sean Diddy Combs. For example, yes, it does. in the lawsuit filed by Combs' former producer, Rodney Little Rod Jones, he claims. I remember what Little Rod was talking about, right? I remember what he was talking about. This shit's crazy. Combs and others consorted with underage girls, that they trafficked them, that Combs had spiked their drinks. Another lawsuit filed by a woman named Liza Gardner alleges Combs sexually assaulted her when she was 16 years old back in the 90s. There's another allegation that he gang raped a 17 year old girl. So these allegations. Look at Diddy be a some straight freak boy shit, man. He, he definitely deserves a sale, man. Like, they should have one ready for him already with his name on that motherfucker. Like, he's been on some wild shit, man. Damn, this shit's crazy. Allegations laid out by Mr. Gonzalez are consistent with what we have heard already in prior lawsuits. Now, we don't know if Mr. Gonzalez, his claims are true or not, if any of these conversations happened. And I think a fair question could be, why was Combs or his associate trying to reach out to Gonzalez specifically? 
the gang aspect, I will say. I feel like, in a way, I feel like it's some truth to every lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, so whenever somebody tell you a lie, it's some truth to that lie. Let's just say if somebody, say, say if the whole lie is, say somebody say to you like, oh yeah, I went to the store this afternoon and I found a thousand dollars. And you're like, oh word, and they're like, yeah. Now they're probably lying about to find a thousand dollars, but they went to the store. You see what I'm saying? So when I say that, I said that to say some truth in every lie, man. So this Diddy shit is some truth in every lie, man. Pay attention, man. This shit, this shit is getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even if dude is lying, it's some truth in this shit, man. It's some truth in it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, man. It's interesting too. <laughs> why Combs would want to affiliate with a renowned gang like cartel, like the Sinaloa cartel. While we have not seen any allegations that Combs was associated with the Sinaloa cartel or wanting to be a part of it. You know, too, Diddy thought he was untouchable type shit. So I can imagine him trying to get links with the cartel so he could feel like he's even more untouchable. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could see that. Part of that organization, there have been allegations against Combs regarding illegal firearms possession, involvement in shootings, an attempted assassination, illegal narcotics possession and distribution, intimidation, racketeering. So yeah, because that girl that uh, say that he shot her in the face, you know what I'm saying, back in the club, back in the day, she's still coming out talking about that shit. She's swearing it was Diddy. It's like, he pulled a gun, looked right at me. And, uh, I'm like, oh, man, this is crazy. So it's a bunch of Diddy shit going on, man. I don't know. But Diddy going to make it out of this one, man. This whole, this whole situation, I don't know if he really going to make his way out of this shit without a scar. So when I say a scar, I mean some time. <laughs> So there have been these kinds of gang affiliated allegations asserted against Sean Combs. And to be clear though, these are all allegations. Combs hasn't been criminally charged. He hasn't been found liable in a civil suit, but you get the idea. Now moving on, the order from the judge goes on to say, quote, the same unidentified business partner of Combs later communicated again with plaintiff asking once again if he could help get some underage boys and girls over the U.S. border and that, quote, plaintiff could come to the party and watch the shows they put on. Plaintiff refused. He told the business partner that he wanted no part in their sex offender S, not to contact him, that Sinaloa wants no part in their sex offender S. Plaintiff also insulted bad... Yo, I don't know, but this shit sound a little crazy. Cartel, like, yo, listen, man, I don't want no part of your sex offender shit, man. Like, keep that shit away from us. And dude still pushing it, like, yo, man, you can't get no young boys and girls. And, you know what I mean? Bring them to the party, man. You guys can come and you guys can see how we party. And they're like, nah, man, we said we want no parts of that bullshit, man. And he's still trying to push him. Like, that's really crazy. This is really how shit went down, man. Boy, the business partner then told plaintiff that he can make life hell because of how much power he has in the streets. Plaintiff told him to do what you do. Now, now, I don't really know. I don't really know if uh, if I believe that part. That a dude from Diddy's group is saying to a guy from the cartel, yo, we can make life hell for you if you don't do what we ask you to do. And I don't really know about that part. I don't know about that part. Now, the order then says that, quote, due to Combs' defamation of plaintiff, he has lost all of his business contacts in the state of New York. Plaintiff was informed by his own business partner that he cannot do business that helps bad boy out, that this has cost plaintiff a lot of money. Hmm. Now, my initial... Well, well, maybe... Maybe. <laughs> ooh -wee. Just maybe, Diddy people's got... You know what I'm saying? Enough pull in the streets where they can make them stop dealing with a certain, you know what I mean, people and make them deal with somebody else. Just maybe. Just maybe. Like, I don't know, though. You know what I'm saying? That shit sound a little too far-fetched. But, ah, uh, anything's possible when you got enough bread, truthfully. It is New York City, baby. The reaction was, this seemed to be a little bare bones, right? Where is the defamation? What exactly was said? What were the statements that were made? How do you know that you lost all of your business contacts or your your business livelihood because of sean combs and what business are we talking about exactly well drug business i'm pretty sure well 
Those issues were kind of explored by Judge Swain, but in a different way. She explains how a court has to dismiss a complaint for a variety of reasons. If the complaint is frivolous, if the complaint is malicious, meaning it was filed for improper purposes or reasons, or, and this is a very big one, fails to state a claim upon which relief may be granted. That's another way of saying, even if we take all of your allegations as true, you haven't asserted an actual legal claim that the court can remedy. I'll give you an example. If I sue my friend because he says the sky is green, there's no legal claim. There's nothing I can sue him under. Now here, Judge Swain ruled that Mr. Gonzalez's claims are frivolous, meaning it lacks an arguable basis either in law or fact. Quote, plaintiff without any legal basis appears to assert claims of defamation against the defendants, seeking damages arising from injury incurred to his illegal drug smuggling and sales business caused by the defendant's alleged defamation of plaintiff because he refused to arrange sex trafficking of underage children for the defendants, including what appears to be international sex trafficking. Since there are no apparent legal bases for any of these claims, the court additionally dismisses plaintiff's claims as frivolous. Now, keeping that in mind, that wasn't the only issue that the judge had either. No, in order to sue somebody in court, you need what's called standing, <laughs> meaning in order to sue, you need to show that you suffered an injury, that it is connected to what the defendant allegedly did, and that the court can provide a favorable remedy to you. And when we say injury, as Judge Swain explains, it's, quote, a plaintiff must show that he or she suffered an invasion of a legally protected interest that is concrete and particularized and actual or imminent, not conjectural or hypothetical. And by the way, federal courts only have jurisdiction over cases and controversies where a plaintiff has standing. So here, Judge Swain explains that Gonzalez has no standing, and therefore the court has no jurisdiction over this matter. Yeah, so otherwise he can't even sue Diddy for this shit because he's not really stating what and what and what. You know what I'm saying? He ain't saying nothing. You know what I mean? That's crazy, though, because I guarantee you, though, this just like when the other girls came up with the lawsuit against Diddy and made the police get ready to try to pick it up. You know what I mean? So the same thing probably might happen in this situation. They're going to probably investigate it. Why? Well, it was kind of alluded to before and when she said these claims were frivolous because she says, quote, Plaintiff appears to allege that the defendants have injured him with regard to his illegal drug smuggling and sales business by defaming him. Yo, this is really crazy, though. Like, who sues somebody and says, yo, this dude messed up my drug business, so I need to sue him for this amount of money? Like, what in the fuck? Like, what type of world do we live in nowadays? This is crazy. It's the same thing with dudes trying to, I seen some shit about, like, claiming... They claiming the money they make from drugs on you for your taxes. Like, what type of shit is going on? Man, this shit is crazy, man. This, this is wild. Because plaintiff's business is not alleged to be a legally protected interest, however, plaintiff has not shown that the defendants have caused him an injury in fact for the purpose of establishing standing. In other words, you are alleging wow, you're shit. breaking the law. And a court of law doesn't recognize providing a legal remedy if your criminal operations were harmed, you can't use the law to further or aid an alleged criminal activity, right? That's some nut shit, man. And she even cites a case that says, quote, standing would not be recognized for a smuggler who asserted that his drug traffic was disrupted. Although the smuggler had been injured, in fact, the asserted interest is not one the courts will protect. And that makes sense, right? So in this order, the judge dismissed. So basically, yo, if you get money in the streets, you want to sue somebody for them fucking up your business, your drug business, you're not going to get nothing, nothing coming to you at all. You shouldn't think you are anyway. You shouldn't be a fool and try to go to the courts and say, I want to sue this person because he messed up my drug. Like, dude, you got to chill, B. <laughs> you wild. <laughs> Missed Mr. Gonzalez's claims. And she even added how usually federal district courts will allow a plaintiff who's representing themselves to amend or modify a complaint to fix the problems. But here, she says it would be futile. There's no point. This isn't like he cited the wrong case law or the wrong statute or he didn't sign it. 
The whole basis of his argument doesn't work. This can't be cured with an amendment. So therefore, she will not allow Gonzalez to submit an amended complaint. And so this action Great. was dismissed. End of the story. Combs doesn't even have to respond. So bottom line here, you know when they say... You don't have to respond, but you better believe this is definitely something that I believe that somebody else is going to look into. Some type of agency, uh, <clears throat> feds, you know what I'm saying? Somebody going to look into that shit. Because when somebody make allegations like that about you, it's like if somebody go around telling police, oh, hey, this guy is selling guns or he want to buy guns. Police is going to look into that shit. So something like this, they're going to definitely look into it. How anyone can sue anybody for anything. Yeah, sure, that's true. But it doesn't mean the case will go anywhere. And it doesn't mean there won't be consequences. Just an interesting little development in the Sean Combs story that we saw from some of these filings. We will, of course, keep an eye out for you on what happens next. That's just crazy, yeah. That's all we have for you right now here on Sidebar, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And as always... That's just bugged out, man. Jump in the comments, man. Let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? Think uh, this is going to give Diddy some problems? Or you think he's just going to walk away from this like he always do anything else? You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm talking about? It's your boy, man, Buck Breeze. Mr. No Slacking himself. No Slacking at all. That shit is bad for health. Go. So,